Behold, child, you are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. a problem that extends beyond your own lifespan. That question may be the essence of civilization. The only answer I can find is to initiate a process, to create an environment in which the solution will occur independently of yourself. But that requires a difficult sacrifice. Letting go of your desire to bear witness, to exist at the center of the cosmos, to participate in the project of civilization is to accept death. Oh, Alex, you're such a fun person. And we within them are made of words. Hidden words, invisible to you, yet part of all things. We are a story. Your actions give life to the story, and the story gives meaning to your life. You have come far, my child, succeeding where so many before you failed. The road before you is still long and many gates remain closed. Do not falter, do not fear, and do not give in to temptation.
I was in school when I first read about the Talos Principle. I think it disturbed me at the time, made me hyper aware of my body as a physical object, the material reality of the brain, ideas that made me uncomfortable at first, but I think in the long run, help me understand how frail human beings are and how precious. It's not a comforting way of thinking about the world, but I'd rather face the truth than lie to myself. Thank you. 